In today's Health Watch, the FDA has approved a new blood test that could change the way we detect colon cancer. Here now, CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent, Dr. John LaPoo, who specializes in gastroenterology. Good morning. morning. How are you doing? Okay. Let's jump right into it. So what can you tell us about this test and how it compares to other cancer screening options available? All right, well, it's a simple blood screening. test. Yeah, it's a blood test, and you're looking uh, to screen people at average risk for colon cancer, okay? Uh, and right now, the gold standard is still the colonoscopy. You go in, you look, you can find early early cancers, you can find benign polyps, pluck them out, they don't have the potential to grow into cancer over time. There are stool tests that are looking for blood or genetic material, right. combination, and you have the ick factor. A lot of people don't want to do those stool tests. So now we have a simple blood test okay. that's 83% sensitive, wow. effective at picking up colon cancer. Now, it's 100% at stage two, three, and four. It's mm. less effective at stage one. About 55 to 65 percent, the co-CEO of the company told me yesterday. And you really want to be able to diagnose it earlier when it's in the most curable stages, and it's not very good uh, at picking up just benign small polyps. So if you test positive, then what do you do? And, and when will it become more widely available? If you test positive, you need a colonoscopy. And I should say that about 10 percent of the time, it's a false positive. So it's saying it's positive, oh. but you actually don't have okay. colon cancer. And you, of course, you're going to be anxious. But... You do the colonoscopy, you say, okay, I don't have colon cancer. Um, now, it's going to be available, again, this co-CEO um, told me yesterday that within the next uh, couple of months, you know, they're, they're getting a sales force out there, they're making it more widely available. He wouldn't say exactly, but within two months, uh, it should be more widely available. Uh, Dr. LaPook, price tag and will insurance cover? Mm -hmm. So about $900 right now, if it's not being covered, Medicare is going to cover it. And the question is, Will the private insurance companies cover it? Usually they follow suit. You know, mm -hmm. Medicare covers it, they follow suit. That's good news. All right, Dr. John LaPook, really great having you. Thank you very much.